April 7th. Wow, I smell honey or something coming off that hive. It smells strong. It smells wonderful. And I got bees flying by me. Wow, look at the pollen these guys are bringing in. I've been debating all day whether I want to open this hive up and have a look at the brood box and see how things are coming. I want to do a split pretty soon. Oh, wow, it smells so good. Um, but I also don't want to disturb them more than I need to. Alright, I decided I'm going to open it up and have a look. Interesting to note, I uh, forgot to seal this hole up and they're in there robbing some of the honey out of here. Of course, it's only these guys and they're going to get it anyway, so it's alright. Let's see what we find. Well, right off the bat, taking the cover off, we got a ton of these. So that's a nice sign. Pretty calm, but we'll just give them a touch of smoke. And let's go on down. Holy cow! They are thriving. And are those super seizure cells, or are they just building that comb down? I'm not sure. And then a little bit of smoke. Down to the next one. Holy cow, I can't get over how strong this colony is. I think they are ready for a split. I mean, holy cow, look at all the bees in here. Wow. This colony is cranking. Amazing, amazing. I cannot get over how strong this colony is. How many bees are in this hive this early in the season? All right, I gotta see if I can get in between some of those frames. This might be tricky, depending on how those frames are set up. But uh, wow, wow, incredible. Okay, we got lots of brood. This is the uh, second frame in. I tried to pull this first one and the frame came apart on me. That made a freaking mess. But this one's loaded with brood. Brood. Honey around the edges. Oh, there's the queen! Look at that queen! Oh, she's huge! She's beautiful! Should go around to the other side? Yeah, there she is. Wow, awesome. Okay. Got uh, pollen up in here. Got brood over in here. Bunch of empty cells. I can't see. I think there might be some eggs in there, but it's hard to tell. Let me flip this over. More brood. More pollen. Oh yeah, now we're getting there. Lots of brood on that. Pollen. That's that side. Lots of brood on this. Ton of bees working it. Possibly a drone or maybe a queen replacement cell there. Looking killer. Right in the hive. 
ton of pollen on that. Good. Pollen and brood loaded. Pollen and brood loaded. Got a bunch of cross comb in there that's coming apart on me. But a whole chunk came out. That really sucks. Uh, but we got a ton of bees in here. I think maybe we just do a split now and go. I think my timing's pretty good here. I'm pretty sure that's a supersedure cell they're building right there. So we're going to drop that over into another hive box along with uh, another frame, full frame of brood. And dig out some pollen and set them up. Alright, so we're going to take a couple of these full frames of brood pollen mix and put in to the blue box and uh, we'll have a dig through the last couple frames, few frames there and see if we can't find uh, whatever we need resource wise and then we'll pull some frames of honey from the boxes over there and we're going to do the split and roll I think. Uh, what a mess. So this frame is embedded into the next frame and I really don't want to tear all that brood apart because uh, I want to keep this colony strong. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take these other two frames I got out already, put those over into here, or maybe even just one of those. And then uh, we'll uh, leave, uh, leave the rest in here. I'll have to put some new empties in. But uh, yeah. Okay, we got three frames of brood and pollen here, and two full frames of honey on either side. And I think I'm going to drop one more frame of honey in here just to make sure they have ex excess resources. Uh, I dropped two new frames in here because I don't... Actually, I think I do have drawn comb. I'm going to go pull these frames and get two drawn comb frames to put in so they can get right to work. And then uh, cap this back up. And I will probably shake some of the bees off of the upper part of this uh, down into here to make sure these guys have a good... Uh, base and hopefully uh, they'll take that super seizure cell and uh, make a queen and rock and roll. I don't know, I've never done a split before. I hope this goes successfully. Uh, fortunately there's a massive strong colony to work from. Alright, drawn out comb from last year. Going in. So they can get right to laying and packing and storing. Alright, there we go. We got uh, plenty of honey. I dropped two more there were they had nectar in them but weren't capped so they could uh, pull resources kind of like these uh, there was a little couple of patches of dead brood in there but I'm sure they'll clean that out uh, so hopefully these guys will uh, take off and thrive also uh, they had as far as I could tell that was a super seizure cell there so it looks like uh, Looks like they might already be preparing to replace the queen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the queen we saw there. I'll have to go back and look at the video footage, but I'm pretty sure that was her. She was uh, big and beautiful. And uh, this colony is all reassembled uh, with new uh, empty, uncapped, drawn comb in to replace where we came out. So uh, hopefully they should be able to keep rolling and laying. They've been pulling massive resources. This colony has got a tremendous amount of bees in it already. I'm really impressed. And uh, I think they're doing well. So hopefully uh, hopefully the other colony over there will take off and do well also. Um, well, that's all we can do. We'll find out. Uh, I'm going to get these guys closed back up. I'm sure they're sick of having me in their beeswax, so to speak. All right. Uh, I think I split them successfully. We'll see if the new colony takes. 
I hope I put enough uh, bee pollen and uh, brood and resources in there and more importantly I hope there's enough bees in there but uh, weather's supposed to be fairly mild coming up so hopefully uh, hopefully they'll be okay and uh, take off and thrive like the the big colony that we just split from all right that's it for now okay one last thing I just uh, put on some hive restrictor entrance restrictors here on the uh, on the new box because I want to make sure that they don't get robbed out by the bigger colony or another colony I don't know of any nearby but you know uh, good to uh, give them a little extra buffer of protection so we're gonna leave that uh, real restricted for now if they start uh, really thriving in the next week or two we'll uh, open that up a little more and let them have some more room but uh, for now they're tightened up and uh, you can see these guys are uh, obviously not in the same uh, foraging mood they were in before that's what happens when after you uh, go in with smoke and all you kind of disrupt their cycle quite a bit so that's why I tend to like to do my hive openings late in the day so that I'm not disrupting as much of the day cycle on them as I uh, as it could be uh, so this is just kind of uh, footnotes here but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully they'll take hope I uh, did things well enough and right enough all right that's it thanks for watching the pharmacy C's network don't forget to like share subscribe